In this video, let us continue solving problems by applying trigonometry. And we've got a problem here. It reads like this. The angular valuation of the top Q of a vertical tower, PQ, from a point X on the ground is 60 degrees. At a point Y, 40 meters vertically above X, the angular valuation is 45 degrees. Find the height of the tower PQ and the distance XQ. Well, uh, I will you know let's try to make this a lot more easier by drawing the required diagram you know to understand this problem so what i'll first do is now the first thing that comes here is the top q of a vertical tower pq so let's get the vertical tower pq first here it is pq we've got this right well now the next thing what it says is the angular valuation of the top Q, the angular valuation of this point Q from a point X on the ground. That point, let's say, is somewhere here, right? This is X, all right? This is X. So it says it is 60 degrees. Let's join this now. Right, so this is 60 degrees, and then it says. At a point y, 40 meters vertically above x. So we've got x here, now 40 meters vertically above x. So say somewhere here is another point, another point y, right? That's what it says. y, the angular valuation is 45 degrees from this point. So we need to draw the reference line for this, right? here it is this is going to be 45 if it will not be exactly accurate remember this is just an illustration if you want to get it right please do use the necessary geometrical instruments to get it right so we've got 60 degrees here and we've got 45 degrees here and then what now we need to find the height of the tower pq and the distance xq all right we need to find xq and pq so it's as simple as that. So now we know that this is 40 meters. So this is also going to be 40 meters, right? So we need to find PQ. So we've got this one. So let's see what we can do with this. All right, let's get started now with the problem. Now let's name this here. Let's keep it R here. So yeah. So now let us consider the triangle YRQ. Now, in the triangle YRQ, now we need the height of this, right? Or we need PQ. So, RQ is part of it. So, if, once you find RQ, it's done. So, we need RQ. We've got the angle and then we do not have the hypotenuse or this. So, let's take tan. So, tan 45 degrees equals RQ that is opposite over adjacent, which is RY, right? So, RQ, we don't know. Let us take that as x all right so let's take it as x and then we've got ry or yr so just write like that we know that tan 45 is 1 so 1 equals x by ry so we have ry equal to x so this and this are equal so that's one thing that we've got right well this is not bad so if if RY is equal to X, then XP is also equal to X, right? Yeah. Now, next. Now, let's take the triangle XQP. So, in triangle XPQ, we have what? Tan 60, right? So, tan 60 degrees equals, we've got PQ, PQ over XP. So tan 60 is root 3 and PQ is 40 plus X and we have XP as X. So here we are. Now we can find X here. So we've got X root 3 equals 40 plus X or X root 3 minus X equals 40. So what is root 3? It's 1.732, right? So 1.732 to X minus X equals 40. So that is that is nothing but 0.732x equals 40. So we can easily find the value of x. So x equals 40 divided by 0.732. And how much is that? 
it is 54.64 so we found this x so we found this x now all we have to do is add this to the 40 so 54.64 plus a 40 gives you 94.64 meters so we are done with one part of the problem we found out the you know the height of the tower which is 94.64 so the next thing that we have to do is find xq, the distance xq. This is going to be so much more easier because, you know, we've got the x, you know, this is x, which is 54.64. We've got this value. We've got this value. All we need to do is find the hypotenuse. We can do it in a different ways. You can straight away use the right angle triangle rule, or you can use the sine rule, you know, sine 60 equals opposite by hypotenuse, or you can use cos rule. Lots more, you know, just try it. Let me use sine rule. So we've got sine 60, considering this triangle again, XQP, right? Let me mention it here. Triangle XQP. Consider in that triangle, we've got sine 60 equals PQ by XQ because sine theta equals opposite by hypotenuse, right? So PQ by XQ. So sine 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2. So root 3 by 2 equals PQ is nothing but 94.64. XQ is what we have to find. So proceeding from here, we'll have XQ equal to 94.64 times 2 over root 3. Solving which we will get 109.3 meters. So the distance XQ is nothing but 109.3 meters, all right? So that's all. So all you have to do is, you know, use your trigonometry. That's what we've done. We've just used the concept of right angle triangles, the Pythagoras theorem, you know, from which we get trigonometry. So that this is it. So all you have to do is, you know, use as many right angles as you can in the given figure. First, you know, convert the question into a diagram. And then just proceed and then, well, here we are 109.3 meters. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more math.